Hello everyone, welcome to part 5 of Laravel API series and in this video we are going to work on Laravel API validations. So in last video we have seen that we able to post the data, we able to post the multiple data as well but we have not added the validation so far. We need to add the validations uh, from the backend. We need to make sure that all the entries that is coming from the front end to backend must be validated. Okay, so that uh, no empty data will save will get saved in our database or uh, or any wrong data will get saved like uh, in place of email name is coming okay so uh, uh, or uh, sometimes name email is not coming at all empty data is coming so we need to make sure that we are going to validate our data as well so in this video we are going to work on the simple validation we are not adding any rules but in later videos we are going to add the rules as well okay so uh, i want to make it really simple so that everyone uh, will understand first the simple validation then we are going to add uh, work on advanced validation we will add the rules also okay so let's work uh, on this simple validation so uh, open that uh, single post uh, data uh, that we are adding simple uh, data single data uh, from the add users function okay here you can see that we are adding the add user function and we have added the add single user so in this one we are going to add the validation like uh, if the user is empty or if the email is empty or if email already exists like uh, if i'm going to add this one see amit 200 at the rate of yopmail.com is already there if i will click on send uh, see here the error message is coming but uh, this is incorrect same error message is going to display in android app and that is not good at all that uh, will uh, crush the app okay and the user need to open the app once again so uh, we need to show the error message there okay like uh, in android app the error message will come in this in the same way uh, what error message is coming here so so same kind of error message will come in android app okay such kind of error message so for making such kind of error message we need to add the validation and we need to return the error message to the app okay so here uh, we are going to add the first validation we need to make sure all the fields having some data okay so first validation is that one so uh, we are working on simple post api validations in this one i am going to check the user details and i will add the conditions like uh, if any one of the field is empty like if empty dollar user data as we are getting the data in your dollar user data so name or empty so dollar user data email or empty dollar user data password okay so again this bracket will not come up here here we need to end it here okay so in any of the case we are going to return response json okay so here we are going to send two things here uh, we are going to send the status as false and message we are going to send uh, like uh, uh, please enter complete user details okay so we can do one thing we can generate uh, one uh, we can assign one variable here dollar message here we will enter please enter 
complete user details okay like this so here message will go dollar message so these two things we are going to return so uh, we are going to turn so let's see now see if we are going to keep anything empty uh, like uh, i'm going to make name empty and we'll click on send see it is going to show you error message please enter complete user details so the android developer will see the status is fall and message is coming like this he is going to show the same message in android app okay so here one more thing i want to tell you uh, that here uh, this status is 200 okay so that status is wrong here uh, status must be uh, 422 like uh, you can see the status here if i will open uh, some other uh, like i will just open some other url that does not exist then it will it then it will show 404 not found that everyone knows 404 status so in app we are required to send the correct status uh, to the android developer uh, to the uh, front end code so that uh, uh, based on that status uh, we can show the correct output uh, to the user okay so so this uh, status is very important here 200 okay status we will only show whenever data is okay so we are going to show the 422 status that means the error is coming in uh, the api okay uh, means some data is not complete so we are going to add here the status 422 okay <coughs> uh so regarding about uh, this status i will tell you in uh, upcoming videos as well okay so we can continue if you want or you don't want to add right now then it's your choice but uh, if you will add 422 then see click on send then it will be showing us 422 unprocessable entity okay so it this status is correct for the app so after this one uh, there is one more uh, check i'm going to add uh, we uh, we required to check if the email is valid okay otherwise see it is going to store the invalid mail as well like uh, uh, if i'm going to add it uh, only i mean 200 then it will also save it see see uh, I, i'm going to add here name amit and now send see it is saving user added successfully so it is adding the wrong data as well see here in email it is adding just amit 200 so it is not uh, right at all i am going to make it empty once so we are going to add the correct data and for that we need to add the email validation check as well see this is the simple validation in upcoming videos we are going to work with the rules that is better i am just uh, uh, so that you will get familiar with the api so i am doing this one i don't want to do uh, take you uh, and we'll start working on the complex step straight away so step by step we are working on that and some users who already know about this thing uh, that is really good you can still uh, check this video and uh, you can uh, restore your knowledge you can uh, check yourself that you are 100 percent correct or not see even if i know everything i used to listen to the person uh, even uh, that person whatever uh, that person is saying and i know about that thing even it is better because some of the points we miss sometime uh, that is always good to learn okay so now i'm going to add the an uh, another validation check if email valid now uh, there is one check uh, filter validate email check in laravel or php we can say so here i'm going to search filter validate email check so we are going to use that check filter validate email so w3 schools we can open this one and yeah this is the check we want to integrate uh, uh, okay so we are going to copy this one and we'll paste there uh, what I am going to do, I am going to see if email is valid email address. We require this check. So I am going to add the note here. Uh, now 
see now for invalid mail it will work and here uh, we are going to add our data we are going to check our email like this and now we are going to copy this one and here we are going to show the error message please enter uh, valid email like this please enter valid email okay so we can try this one here we can try this one and uh, yeah we can use the same one and see see please enter valid email error message is coming and see status is 422 so error message is coming fine okay so this is the another error message that we can add now one more error message that check user email already exists okay so we can't add the duplicate email see uh, if we will try to add the duplicate mail then it again show the error message like i have shown you earlier as well check if uh, user email already exists see here i'm going to show you uh, like uh, if i will click on this one then it will show uh, once more see it is showing the error message duplicate entry so for this one we need to add the another check here another simple check uh, we are going to count the user here user count user where mail dot user data email count so if dollar user count is greater than zero then we are going to add the message here uh, we will add email already exists okay so this error validation we are going to show again so let's see i'm going to click on send and see uh, error message is coming email already exists so that is fine we are adding all the validations and if uh, it is correct if uh, the email id is different then it is going to save okay user added successfully okay and you can see the response code here 200 okay okay so now uh, see we can uh, show the common error message we can do one thing here no need to give it like this this one we can commonly add outside and we can do one thing here we can add error message here like this okay so these changes you can do at your end and if error message is not empty then we can show the error message we will here add the condition it is set error message and then uh, not empty then we are going to display so let's see if it will work like i am going to uh, try to add the same one under when variable message here okay uh, yeah here will it will come the message like this error message will come like this okay so now we can try see the email already exists that is the correct error message now if i am left something uh, oh, and uh, we'll put the correct email then see please enter complete user details okay so now it will work fine and uh, we have removed the code uh, see only error message we are uh, having in the conditions and if the error message exists then only uh, we are going to return uh, with the status false and error message and 422 code uh, response code error code 
uh, okay so otherwise we will add the user okay so uh, so i hope that this is uh, this will work fine for you and see one more thing i want to tell you uh, the response code uh, for uh, like uh, we have worked on get users also this one uh, and uh, see in next video I will tell you the important response codes uh, for get for post and for other APIs as well okay uh, and uh, we will work on the validations for multiple data as well okay that we are going to do for uh, the next video so stay tuned for next video so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye